noticed a couple of days ago that our fridge check light kept coming on and Ray diagnosed it as being what was wrong? So this morning, we're going to drive out to Nags Head just to see the Outer Banks. We've never been there before. And um, what's this button? It's about half an hour, 45 minutes out of the way today. Yep. On already a over two hour drive that we had to do, so it's going to be a little bit yeah. around three hours or so. I'm going to have to do my meeting this morning or midday from the truck probably. Hopefully there's internet once we get to the other side of the Alligator River. I wonder if we'll see alligators. So we're passing through the Alligator River National Wildlife Refuge. And it's just, it's pretty out here. Look at that. And Ray's really sad because he can't go fishing. Yeah, there's all that water out there. It's just, it's beautiful. It would be great. Love fishing. Love fishing. Puppers are comfy. Miss Tink. Hey Tinker, you having fun? I wish I could smell it. Thanks hey babe. Good girl. We're here at a ranch through Harvest Hosts. And this one has horses. They do even horseback riding lessons. And they came up here after we parked. They're very interested in all of us. Bay is very interested in them. Tink's like, I, I, I'm i okay. Those things are huge, Mom. So here they all are around us. What's going on, huh? I'd like to get to my stuff and get the truck. <laughs> Baby was going to charge up behind me. Beautiful. Yeah, they all seem very friendly. Look out, Tinks. Don't follow too close, Tinks. Thank <laughs> you. 
they're all running from me. Well, it's a good thing it's not smell o vision It's a little stinky over here. Here we are at the Fair Game Beverage Company. It's a Harvest Host location here in North Carolina. Upon calling them to see about being able to stay here, they had requested that as we approach, we pull in, we will see a beautifully recently paved parking lot with fresh lines. Please pass on through and park in the gravel or in the grass. I thought that was hilarious. They have several businesses here that share that parking lot. So this is where we are for tonight. Not too shabby. Came in off this road. We're at a boondockers welcome spot. This house is not being lived in from what we can tell. We could have parked right here. We pulled around the backyard out this way. So Boondockers Welcome called the Ridge. It's a beautiful day. Beautiful field. That we're parked here at. Used to have a spigot for water, but it looks like somebody actually ran right on into it at some point. A lot of old sheds. It's really kind of cool. Raising the truck, working away. Sometimes we get to locations where he's got to, he's already either already working or he's getting started on working pretty quickly after getting in here. So this is where we're at. As you can see, Tink's already enjoying her investigating around. With her nice long lead. And we've got Bay over here, and she's now finally investigating. She started off playing Frisbee. Where is it, Bay? So, holding this line. So I can give Tink all the room she needs. And then, oh, let me switch hands here. I've got a bay with a frisbee ready for me to toss it. All right, sorry about the bumpy camera here for a moment. There we go. And she's off. We noticed a couple of days ago that our fridge check light kept coming on. And Ray diagnosed it as being, what was wrong? The control board's bad, so come around here. So basically what this board does is when it need when the temperature goes down in there and you've got an LP gas, it's supposed to send 12 volts out this over to this little thingy, open the valve. Once the sensor senses there's gas coming out of here, then a spark is applied on this thing. This thing hits 12 volts and goes immediately off. It doesn't hold the valve open, which means this controller board is likely bad. And then before we got the replacement, the electrical side started failing too. So definitely the control board's bad. We got a new one, I'm gonna be replacing it. So the first thing I did was I went inside and I pulled the fuse off of the refrigerator so that there's no battery power to it. 
In fact, I should go get something and verify there's no battery power to it. So if you just pause for a second. with your pictures that everything's back where it's supposed to be. Everything's seated firmly. Put your board back in. Rock up. Rock down. And replace the screw. Alright. That's all it should take. <clears throat> if we did it right, this thing will work. If, if I diagnose the right part. We will go and test that next. Alright, so here I am. I'm going to... He's outside waiting to hear sounds while I hit on gas. Now, even before it took it, even up to a few hours to get, oh, did you hear that? I heard the gas it kick lit. in. It lit. it lit. We hadn't heard that before. And usually the check light would come on within a few hours, sometimes even a couple of minutes. So I say that's the fridge. How you doing? Hello. Sure, just step right over here. John's waiting for him. He, where you been? He's been waiting on you. <laughs> <laughs> They advertise on Google the 18th century tavern with farm to fork American food costumed servers at lunch and candlelit dinners. Yum. Fun. But we're not here for that. We're just having a couple of beers. This is what we're here for. Yeah. It's, it's, and and Domino's. And stuff. then when I read about it in the article for the oldest businesses in the state, it was um, started having a business as a tavern all the way back in 1784. I don't know where she went. We decided to take this hike they have on the property along the ridge. Beautiful fall colors. That's Ray with the orange hat. It's just beautiful back in here. Life doesn't get much better than this. Oh, maybe a little bit of a table over here next to me will make it better. That way, I can have my coffee when I'm further away.
Bye. Hello, weekend. Next week on the local pod. So at this point, I've got a halfway soaked right foot and a completely soaked left foot. Feel free to leave questions or comments below and please remember to like, subscribe, and share. See you next week.